Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 19, and we are looking at the segment verses 7 to 11, and we have called it Special Revelation. And uh, today we are looking at verse 9. So let me read verse 9. Reverence for the Lord is pure, lasting forever. The laws of the Lord are true, each one is fair. As I've said before, there is a name given for the Bible, there is a special characteristic of the Bible, and there is a blessing that comes from the Word of God. So let's see what it is in verse 9. In verse 9, uh, there's a very in interesting, intriguing name given for the Bible. It's called the fear of the Lord or reverence for the Lord. Reverential awe for God, obedient uh, respect for God's uh, law, and uh, submission to God's word. All that is implied in this title, the fear of the Lord. If you start reading the Bible, and you discover the God of the Bible, there can be only one fitting response, and that is to fear the Lord, to reverence the Lord, to submit to this God, to be obedient to this God. That's the title. Now, what's the special characteristic? It says it is pure. It is clean. The fear of the Lord is clean, meaning uncontaminated, and undefiled. As you read the Bible, it's going to separate you from sin. And it happens very unconsciously. Things that you and I clung to and desired begin to drop off and fall off our life. And we become pure and we become clean in our thinking, in our speaking, and in our habits. And then what's the special uh, blessing? It lasts forever. It is enduring, meaning it is permanent, it is unchanging, it is relevant, it is up to date, it is never outdated. That's the word of God, right? It, uh, we are living in the 21st century and the word of God is as relevant to us today as in any other century. Praise God. Now the second part of verse 9, the title, The Laws of the Lord. And uh, uh, again, different translations use different words. They call it judgments of the Lord. And uh, by that, the decisions uh, of the Lord, the ordinances of the Lord, whatever word you like to use, uh, you can use it, right? That's the title the judgments of the Lord, the laws of the Lord. Now, what is the special characteristic? They are true and they are righteous. They are ab absolutely just. They are completely fair. They tell it like it really is. And they correspond to and accurately reflect reality, the word of God. That's the special characteristic. And uh, what uh, is the, uh, the special uh, blessing uh, that uh, comes uh, when we uh, adhere to uh, this uh, Bible, to this word? It will teach us uh, to live a life that is true and fair, right? To live a life of integrity, uh, to live a life uh, that has no duplicity, no hypocrisy. Because the word of God is true and fair, I'm going to live that kind of a life. So we have looked at some special titles, special characteristics, and some blessings that come from the word of God in verses 7 to 9. Now, one other observation from verses 7 to 9, five areas are targeted by the word of God. In uh, verse 7, the soul is targeted. That's the real you the real me. And then uh, in verse 7, the simple are targeted, the common man. 
again that's you and me in verse 8 the heart is uh, the target and uh, the control center of our life the heart and then in verse uh, 8 the eye uh, is uh, mentioned the window to the soul the uh, eye and then in verse 9 the mind is uh, the target and in the latter part of verse 9 the will is the target the total person the soul the heart the eye the mind and the will so from verses 7 to 9 the total person is the target of the word of god so that's why when you come under the authority of the scriptures every part of us is impacted every part of the human psyche is impacted and we are changed for time and for eternity and that's why the devil hates the word of god he will do whatever he can to keep you from the word of god and if he can't succeed in that and if the word of god gets into your mind and into your heart he will do all what he can to steal it from your heart and to render it inoperative in your life so let's be vigilant let's be on our guard and let's uh, feast on the word of god and let's allow the holy spirit to do his work in your life and my life so that we are changed from the inside out recommend the word of god to others have a blessed weekend and god willing we will see you again next week as we continue exploring psalm 19 god bless you and have a very wonderful day for more videos like this please subscribe to our youtube channel grace gospel english church toronto thank you